All right, bro. So we're here. Uh, gonna go ahead and give you my predictions for the KSI versus Swarm uh, full card. By the way, go ahead and give you a a winner of every fight and try to give you a prediction on some of them. Uh, some of these guys, I don't know who they are, so it's gonna be hard for me to you know tell you uh, how the fight's gonna end. But I'm, uh, on some of them, I'll try to give you a prediction uh, who's gonna win and why. So let's go. All right, up first we have Sam Hyde and I am Thompson. Uh, I don't know much about either, either of these two guys. Uh, in fact, I know nothing about I am Thompson. I've only seen him like twice. Sam Hyde is signed with Happy Punch with uh, Fuzi and Keemstar, all of them. So he's over there at Happy Punch. So if I'm gonna pick this fight now, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say Sam Hyde. Although it, I am Thompson could win, I guess uh, it's possible. Uh, considering that Sam Hyde's over there with Happy Punch, I, I'm going to give him the W uh, for this one. But with me not knowing either of these too much, not going to give a prediction on how this fight ends. I'm going to go ahead and give Sam Hyde the W. Up next, we have Salt Poppy and Andy Worski. Um, again, I don't know who Andy Worski is. Uh, no offense, but uh, everyone knows who Salt Poppy is, right? He, he uh, fought on the Deji and Wasabi card. And uh, he, he, he won dominantly, so I guess that's, you know, I'm going to have to give him a win here. And that could change on fight night. I just don't know. <laughs> I don't really know anything about Andy Warski. So go ahead and give uh, Salt Poppy the win here. Not going to give a prediction again for uh, the simple fact of I don't know Andy Warski, so I'm not going to say he's going to get knocked out. I, I don't know, so I am going to give Salt Poppy the win here. Up next, we have Dean the Great. Versus Evil Hero. This one I will give a prediction on. I think Dean the Great wins by knockout. No doubt about it. Uh, Evil Hero is not good. Right? He, he's kind of like a terrible version of Slim. Right? He complains when he doesn't get what he wants. Right? And then when he gets what he wants, he's, he's automatically the best there's ever been. The best there ever will be. Uh, no one's better than him. Right? That's, that's, that's all he does. He just talks. Listen, a man's bark is bigger than his bite. Facts, bro. Uh, Evil Hero is not anything to be taken serious. Uh, Dean the Great's gonna win by knockout. I don't know which round. I don't know how many there are. It's three or four. Dean the Great's gonna knock him out though. All right, and this will uh, this will start you know building up uh, towards the the main fight, right? So uh, we're gonna start with I, I believe what's starting the show: KSI versus Swarms. It was supposed to be Alex Wasabi. Uh, then, you know, that whole thing happened. So they put in Swarms. And uh, now KSI is actually fighting two people, which will be the main event, the last fight. Uh, but for the first fight, he is going to start off against uh, Swarms, the rapper. Um, if you haven't heard that uh, KSI diss track he made, it's actually pretty hard. It's pretty sick. So go ahead and give it a listen. But, uh, yeah, they're only giving him, like, what? Three weeks to, to learn the box. It, it, KSI should win by knockout here. And I, if it goes any uh, longer than two rounds, uh, that's not going to look good for KSI. I think round one knockout is what we're all looking for here. Uh, KSI wins by round one knockout. Up next, we have King Kenny versus Faye Sensei. And we all know Faye Sensei is, is one of the top uh, YouTube boxers there is. Uh, he should be up there. With Logan Paul, Jake Paul, and KSI. He just doesn't, he's not consistent, right? He hasn't fought in over four years like KSI. So there's not much to uh, really go off recently, right? He's fought professionally uh, kickboxing. Uh, he plays football, right? Uh, last time we saw him in a boxing ring, he was facing Overt Flow on the first KSI and Logan Paul. So that was four years ago, over four years ago, yeah, so... Uh, in fact, I think tomorrow will be four years since that's happened. So this this, this fight is really hard, honestly. Uh, only because King Kenny's fought recently. He's got his brother, which is Daily Paralysis. He's got his brother, right, uh, training him and Deji. Um, honestly, though, I just I don't see any way I can I can't go with Face Sensei. I'm gonna have to <laughs> I'm gonna have to give it to Face Sensei. But prediction. I, I, I think it goes to the judges. I don't think anyone's getting knocked out in this in this fight. So uh, I got to give it to Faye Sensei. Split decision. 
unanimous, unanimous decision. Either one. I think Face Sensei wins. I just I don't see uh, King Kenny getting knocked out. All right. Up next we have Deji versus Fusi. Uh, this this ki this could be fight of the night. Um, possibly King Kenny and um, uh, Face Sensei could be fight of the night as well. We're all looking forward to Deji versus Fusi though. This honestly should be the co-main event in my in my eyes, but it is what it is. Um, both of these guys are looking for a win. And all, I mean, Deji's 0-3. Fusi is 0-1. Uh, yeah, man, both of these guys just want it. We're going to see who wants it more, right? We are going to see who wants it more. Um, I'm going to go with Deji, which shouldn't be a surprise if you, if you watch my channel on the regular, right? I mean, I've made video like four or five videos on this. Deji is winning this fight. I think people are taking Fuzi a little too serious for no reason, right? I mean, the guy is, sh is sh shredded, bro. The, the, the guy looks uh, totally different. Uh, his body transformation is insane. And congratulations to him on that, right? I mean, you, you got to give congratulations to him on that. Not, not a lot of people can do that. Uh, not many people are willing to do that. I mean, look at me. <laughs> um, uh, one day. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, man, you got to give him congratulations on that. But uh, he's not winning this fight. And he says he's not overlooking Deji, but he is. Let's be real. Deji's winning this fight. That's all there is to it. Uh, you, you've seen the, um, if you've watched, right, you've seen the transformation he made from fighting Vinny Hacker and Alex Wasabi. Um, that was only what he had. Well, yeah, they were months apart from each other, the fights. But uh, the coaches that he had, he's now with Daly, um, which he only had two weeks, right? Two or three weeks with him before the Alex fight. And he looked miles better, right? Now, just imagine what he can do with six months, seven months with Daly, right? Um, I'm real, I really have high hopes for Deji in this fight. M many people don't, and... That's fair, right? He's 0-3. Every time we, we bet on him, we lose. So it is what it is. That's fair. But uh, I'm, I'm going to stick with my heart, bro. This big heart. I'm going with Deji. Now, prediction-wise, I it's hard to see Fuzi getting knocked out. Only because he's, he's probably stronger than Deji. He has more power than Deji. I don't know that for sure. But it's possible. So it's hard to see him getting knocked out. And Deji's last fight with Wasabi also went to the judges. So I could see this going to the judges. Um, so I, it, I, I'm not going to give a prediction on this fight. It's just too hard. Uh, but I do got Deji winning either knockout or going to the judges. Um, Deji on top. All right, up next we have Phase Temper versus Slim, right? Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I have Phase Temper winning this. Uh, I think Slim is overrated. Yes, he's 3-0, but look at his opponents, right? Uh, he fought Fuzi, and then other two you can't even name, <laughs> right? I mean, Fuzi is not, oh, sorry. Slim is not winning this fight. Slim is highly overrated. Um, and he, he, again, his bark is also louder than his bite. So, we'll see. I think Face Temper wins this. Not going to give a prediction, honestly. That, <laughs> I just don't want to sound stupid, right? If I say Slim gets knocked out and he doesn't, then I look stupid. If I say it goes to the judges and it doesn't, I look stupid. I'll just if I'm gonna look stupid on anything, it's uh the winner that I pick, right? If if Face Temper somehow loses, I'll accept being stupid. But overall, I do have Face Temper winning this fight. All right, and up next, uh, this is the main event as of now. KSI versus uh. I don't remember his name, Pineda. Um, hey, yo, what's the vibrating, bro? Come on. Um, Pineda, I think is his name. He's, he's uh, uh, from, I don't know where he's from, actually. <laughs> but uh, he has two wins, five losses. Uh, not as bad as what KSI was going for, right? Was going to face uh, the Ivan Nikolov, the racist guy, right? Uh... He was like three wins and 16 losses. That's what you call a journeyman right there. Uh, this new guy, Pineda, I think is his name. Not as bad as Yvonne, but uh, I, I don't know if he's good enough to beat KSI. 
I, I am worried only because he has won professionally, right? The only win case I has is against Logan, in which Logan isn't a boxer. So say what you want about how good Logan is. This guy, Pineda, has won professionally twice, right? So say what you want. I, I am a little worried. I just, I don't know that he's good enough to, to do what he wants with KSI. I, I think he's also uh, it, too small, honestly, right? I, I think, obviously, he's going to have to get close to KSI's weight. But I think the lowest he's fought at was like 140, right? <laughs> 140 pounds. That's crazy. So uh, I think that, um, KSI will have the weight advantage easily, right? Uh, but for KSI to be off for three years and then come back and not only fight swarms, which it shouldn't be a problem, but not only fight swarms, but then go the same night, three, four, five fights later, and fight a professional boxer, that's crazy. No one can do that unless your name is Timotahi Flames. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would get smooked. Okay, but um, listen, I do have KSI winning. Um, if I, you know, if I was gonna bet money or whatever, I, I, I couldn't bet against KSI, right? Just knowing how he is, you gotta pick KSI in this fight. But don't get it twisted. This is a professional boxer, and and just no matter how much you love KSI, you have to say this this could be crazy, uh, and he has a chance to lose this fight. He does. But I am going to stick with KSI for the win. I don't know how he gets it done. I could see KSI knocking him out because of the weight advantage, the strength advantage. But again, I don't even know how this guy go fights, right? I've never I've seen like 5 second footage of him and it was just there, right? <laughs> it was just okay. Um so we're going to see how this goes down. Y'all let me know what are your uh what is your predictions in the comments? And y'all let me know, is my, is my prediction stupid or do you agree? Y'all let me know, man. I may even upload another video before the fights. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, record some reactions to all the fights when they happen. I'm not 100% sure that I will, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what, what goes down and what happens. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Holla at your boy, Timotahi Flames. Instagram and Twitter down below. Yes, sir.